Hey there magic wand, just before we get into your tarot reading I wanted to jump in super quick, I promise, just with a few announcements for you. Should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, you can do so at any time by either clicking the link to my website down below or visiting wildlotustarot.com. I do have a new little offering which I think is, is kind of cute. It's actually the most affordable way to get guidance from me and in that reading I draw you a single tarot card from the beautiful Star Child Tarot and write you a handwritten letter about my interpretation of that card for you and I post it to your letterbox. You can now show your support by becoming a member of my channel. If you head to my channel page and click the join button, there's a video there where I describe in detail what I'm offering for my two different levels of membership. Don't forget the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. You can sign up at any time and receive lifetime access to all of the learning materials, videos, online learning modules, practices, uh, and in that course I, I am teaching my signature process to learn how to read tarot not just from the head but from the heart um, and go beyond the traditional card meanings and, and how to put it all together and thread it into a story as well. So that's available at any time, I'll also link that down below for you. You can find me on Instagram if you'd like to stay connected and hear a little bit more about me. Uh, you can find the link down below or you can find me at wild underscore lotus underscore tarot. I would love to have you over there with me as well. Till next time, sending you so much love and magic. Let's get on with your reading. Welcome to your tarot reading for August 15th to the 21st. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here that describes your situation, Leo. I've got three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Um, Leo, when I saw your first oracle card out, it's got the lion on it. Oh, I just heard hear me roar. It just really is your time to step up, speak up to drive your life ahead is what I'm feeling and it's no surprise that the last row here is all fire energy so it's a time for action it really is a time for for freeing yourself and for liberating yourself so let's start with those oracles now it's the inner power card which is the hear me roar card and it says give me the courage and the power to do what must be done so what is that thing Leo that you know must be done but maybe you've been putting it off, maybe you've been ignoring it, maybe you've been trying to believe that you know things can be different. It's time for you to take action. Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. So it's probably gonna start with a communication. Communicate your feelings or where you're at in the situation, whether it's in love, whether it's in work. Um, I always say that you know words are the spells that we cast because as soon as we speak the words then it becomes a reality and then the action you know happens around that. Lead uh, energy is judgment. Judgment also appears in your spread. You are going through the last call of the situation. Judgment really really is this kind of awakening energy to something that you know is holding you back or keeping you playing small in some way and this is the, the final point where we decide, are we going around for another cycle? And if so, we will get a similar result. Or are you moving this across to the world energy, which is the last major arcana that follows on from judgment, which is grand cyclic completion, like closing the door, closing the chapter and moving to the new. Now, I feel with the Seven of Pentacles as your first energy here, Leo, that the situation that you're in, you are quite heavily invested in it. So this could be a relationship, a longer term relationship, higher commitment marriage, or a job career that you have given a lot of time, effort and energy to. And you know, you've had Seven Pentacles, not bad, but we don't have Nine and Ten and um, you know, the Ten of Cups is at the center of the reading. I think that's what you're wanting. You're wanting more of an effortless flow. You're wanting to receive as well as give. Generally with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like you're not really happy with what you're getting back for the investment, the investment of, of love, of energy, of time, commitment, all of those things. So I think that is the awakening point, the awakening point where something has to change and 
that you're being asked to have the strength and courage to do what must be done here. Three of Cups is here, and like sometimes this can mean that there are other energies involved. It may or may not be true for you. Um, the Three of Cups can also be that you know this is impacting on on your joy and happiness in some way, and you really want to get back to that. Plant the seeds of the new so that you'll have a happy, you know, abundant new harvest in the future. And it can also mean that you will celebrate this. It feels like a bit of a struggle to move through this energy, but it feels like, you know, you will celebrate this in the future. Now the sun is here, and this is actually one of your major arcana cards, Leo, the sun and the strength card, which the inner power is pretty much the strength card of this reading. So it feels like you're in the position of power and you're calling the shots here and doing what's right for you. Now the sun is the most positive card in the tarot deck. It really feels like you can overcome this obstacle and move into a powerful and positive new path. I am also noticing the, it's almost like the lovers on this card. There's two people on this card too. So there could be partnership or relationship, whether it's personal or professional, that are a part of the situation. Also need to address that the Knight of Cups is over here. It's Pisces energy for me. Queen of Rods is here. That's Aries energy. Um, the Knight of Cups is some kind of new offer. It is um, a new invitation, a new proposal new energy coming in it's generally not a reconnection energy so there could be a new offer that is made to you that is the catalyst for you finally going okay now i'm going to do what needs to be done i'm going to leave the situation so this may have happened first it may be maybe still coming i think it's going to oppose you with the nine of swords um a little bit of stress and worry about what to do next but we can see with the nine of swords it feels like what is needing to happen here is that there are some um, binds that need to be cut. So you might be feeling like you have a really powerful obligation um, or entrapment to a situation and it's hard for you to leave. So there could be a contract, like I said, or it could be a marriage contract, it could be a mortgage agreement, it could be a work contract that needs to be broken in order for you to accept this knight of cups offer yes this can be in love but it can also be you know invitational proposal something work-wise that has the promise of filling your cup i also see the partnership coming together here but it feels like there might be another one that you're needing to free yourself from in order to embrace and move forward but what's on offer is a lot of happiness here you know ten of cups is my blessed best life living car where it's like happiness you know in the right place feeling like you're in a really great um and happy chapter of your life so i've got the the queen of wands here seven of wands nine of wands um it feels like there might be a little bit of a anything from a struggle or a battle we will clarify this in order to move forward queen of wands now it could be that you're going to get some pushback from another you know party organization or person um sometimes the nine of wands is like we're so close but we're sort of having to look over our shoulder we're going to have to manage energy outside of ourselves but it feels like you're just one action, one communication away from the Ten of Wands, which is, you know, the release and relieving yourself from a situation that's become quite stressful. So the Seven of Wands is the reminder. Remember, this is not in alignment for you. You know, it's really time to stop fighting and struggling and allow that, that universal current to carry you in the direction that you're really meant to be. And, I mean, the Queen of Wands is this energy of determination. So it feels like you're going to need some inner power, some strength, courage, and determination to follow the energy of the heart and do what needs to be done here. And in order to get to, look at the sunflower, your new level of happiness, your new manifestations here, your new passions, your new desires. The Queen of Wands is in pursuit of happiness and to have, you know, that real energy of being lit up. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, oh, isn't that interesting? The tower has come out with the Two of Pentacles. So I feel that in order for you to get there, 
that there is a tower that needs to come down. So I was feeling that. It feels like there is a something that you're bound or obligated to, commitment, contract, relationship, job, that's a big decision for you to bring it down, okay? Because, you know, obviously it, it means major life changes, major destabilization here. Five of Swords that I feel another party uh, could push back on, but it feels like there's no real winners in that situation. Five of Pentacles, kind of in reverse, but I feel like there could be a financial component or a stability component or even a fear of being, you know, left out on your own here. Ten of Wands, that's what I was talking about before. But, you know, it, you need to be relieved from this because it has become, you know, the weight or the burden that you carry. I just saw the Five of Cups too, which is that card of grieving for it. All those fives, it feels pretty major. Eight of Pentacles. And there might be a little bit of work ahead, but it feels like you can get from the Seven to the Eight and start carving out a new path for yourself, the lovers, yeah, I mean, the lovers for me means that, yes, there could be a new partnership on the other side of this, and we know that when those situations come in, other people can be very unhappy about it, and the lovers, if, if not, you know, partnerships, this is about moving into a place of harmony and peace and balance in your life, and it feels like you need to extract yourself from the situation right? Because it's not delivering in some way, but it does feel like it's a challenging exit strategy for you, which is why you're really going to need to tune in to your strength, your courage, and your inner power, and really, you know, follow the direction of the heart here, Leo. So that's what I have for you, and I am going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this reading, Leo, and I am wishing you all the strength and courage to navigate through it. Drop me a comment if you're cool to share. Love connecting with you there, but please do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective, not specifically speaking to your situation. Uh, also, please do hit subscribe. That's the way you can support the channel and keep so many free readings coming. And I'm wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead, Leo. Do take care. Bye for now.